Okay, well Slayer has taken uh, this Jewel Thief circuit I've been working on and he's beefed it up, which is what I was hoping somebody would do. And uh, I've been working uh, on some ideas too, but he came up with a neat one and I replicated it today. Um, he, his circuit diagrams are a little hard for you to follow if you're not used to them. But basically it's a three coil time, uh, this time uh, three different coils all wrapped up together, what's called a trifiler. And um, he's running it on 12 volts. He's using a single transistor and one diode. And then on the third coil, he's coming off with a bridge rectifier that uh, he basically has two different charging points on this circuit. You could run this without that extra coil, but it's basically the Jewel Thief circuit. And this is the little Jewel Thief uh, circuit that uh, I showed yesterday. Uh, the charger and the light that uh, I've been replicating and there's the little jewel thief and uh, that guy's been happily running along here for several days and I expect him to go a number of days especially at 10 uh, milliamps or less and uh, I just swap these batteries back and forth one's charging up the other same time I'm making light now I took Slayer circuit today and uh, I changed a few things and did my own rendition of it and uh, made a different looking circuit diagram and this is how I did it and I always do things a little bit different than other people but maybe you can uh, freeze frame this what I'm going to do is pan this real slow and then you can probably freeze frame this and look at it carefully if you can see this and then look at the pieces of it because it's a little bit more complicated than some of my other circuits that I've shown. It's three coils on one around an iron core. On my particular lid motor coil I'm using nails. I'm using a, um, a three coils wrapped together. Two of them are bifiler wrapped together. The other one's wrapped right on top of the other two. So it's three different coils. Uh, one is a thicker gauge, 26 gauge than the other two which are 30 gauge and this is the the Slayer circuit it's Slayer 007's big jewel thief and I've done a couple things different instead of using a bridge rectifier here I went right into a CFL um, ignition coil so I've got a charging battery and a CFL running at the same time and I'll pan back a little bit here maybe you can see this uh, this may get posted on the energetic form if there's any interest in it at all. And here's the whole setup right here. I'll show you the whole thing. Um, the scope and the, the, the yellow meter is the amp draw on this. The red meter is the charging voltage on the charging battery. And of course that's the CFL over there. This is the waveform right here, what it looks like. It uh, looks like a square waveform actually. Very interesting, but based on what Bodkins was showing in his video that I watched today, this is where the coil fires down here, and this is the the uh, back spike that's causing all this action. Now, if I disconnect the CFL, waveform changes somewhat. I know, I'll turn it on, turn it off. There's on and off, on and off. Okay, now I'm going to turn the radio up here too so you can hear it. That's what it sounds like. Kind of like the uh, Jewel Thief, a little bit different. This is with uh, out the CFL, this is with the CFL, without the CFL, with the CFL. Okay, now I'm going to vary the um, base voltage here with the potentiometer. Watch the waveform. Here's the amp draw. She's only drawing 50 milliamps. I can take that right on up to 100, 150 milliamps if I want to pull a lot of load on it. But it's not bad considering I'm running a CFL at the same time. I ran this all day at about 60 or 70 milliamps and it charges up a 12 volt battery quite nicely. It'll charge while that's on or with it off. If you take the CFL out of the circuit, you get a higher charge rate out of it. I've got a capacitor hooked up on this too, 
I'm going to show you what the capacitor looks like when it loads up here. There goes voltage on the capacitor. Watch the waveform. It's voltage climbing up on that cap. So yeah, we do have a charger here, and of course that happens with the CFL in it or not. And there's the CFL. I'll show you the cap charge up again here too. There goes the cap. So yeah, this is a charger and a CFL light at the same time. Something we've been working on quite quite a lot on the forum, different threads. But yeah, I, I like this circuit. And here again, it's a combination of a lot of people's efforts to try to make a CFL circuit uh, that produce light as well as charge. But the real neat thing about this, it's solid state. There's no moving parts. In fact, there's only a few parts. There's a little transistor, it's 2N3055, uh, 1N007, a 1N4007 diode down in there. And uh, this is the heart of it, the trifiler coil, which is um, three wraps of coil around an iron core. And got a uh, 10K potentiometer here attached to a 1K resistor on the base of the transistor. And this is my famous 25 ohm rheostat, which you really don't have to use on this circuit, but it gives you a little bit more control. And of course, this capacitor is not needed either. Just two identical 12 volt batteries on this, and that's all there is to it. But anyway, this is the the uh, little jewel thief <laughs> in big form, and this was Slayer's uh, big jewel thief circuit.